Well, can I lockpick it? Let's let's try and lockpick it and just see if we get any luck. We might do, we might not. If we do, that'll save me a lot of time. But I'm not sure about this one. These ones are like are meant to be extremely hard to lockpick. And I mean, if I can get a little safe, I don't know. We'll see. We're getting close, but can we do it? Yes, we actually did it on the first try. Greetings, everybody, and welcome to Let's Play 7 Days to Die Alpha 19 Vanilla. We are now on episode 12, and as you can see, we are full of injuries, because in the last episode, guys, we died about a bajillion times. So yeah, we need to go ahead and make up for our near-death trauma uh, pretty soon, and yeah, just kind of sort ourselves up. So I also have a broken arm, which is really bad, so I need to go ahead and split that thing, and then hopefully that's going to get it all repaired up, and everything is going to be fine. But yeah, we got, we got infected, we got a broken arm and everything, so yeah, that's uh, pretty bad. But there we go. Um, but yeah, this um, this should hopefully be a little bit better now. So now I've got ahead and got a splintered arm. Um, so we should be able to use um, our sledgehammer's power attacks without any consequences now. Um, so yeah, no skill points to spend right now. But yeah, this is what we've got the... Um, here we go. So your minor setback has created some experience debt. Yeah, serious to work this debt. Try not to almost die for a while. That'd be great. Okay, so yeah, we've got the treated abrasion right here, which is awesome. But yeah, we've got antibiotic medicine going down here. Uh, but yeah, this is the one, the splinted arm. Uh, so, your arm is splinted, slowing your weapon handling, reload and swing speeds. This will take some time to heal. Range of power attacks will delay healing or even hurt you. Further critical hits may result in a broken arm. So yeah, we can potentially break our arm again if we're not careful. But yeah, I need to uh, pretty much go ahead and uh, get get back to Luton as well. Because yeah, our health is now pretty bad, uh, in pretty bad shape. But I can now make some first aid bandages here. So let's go ahead and make five of those and then we're good. Because I got some aloe and we can use that. So yeah, that's going to be awesome. So let's go ahead and put the uh, the beer and the coffee away here. And put those in here and that's going to be fine. So yeah, beer can go in there, coffee can go in there. And then we should be just fine for when we do get hungry, thirsty, etc, etc. Which is probably going to be soon because yeah, my hunger is kind of low. So maybe I need to... Well, yeah, if I get some cornmeal, I can make the chili dogs, right? So I don't really want to use that yet. Uh, meat we can get in abundance easily enough. Uh, mm, yeah, this is tricky. How do I do this? Uh, the other thing I want to look at is um, the hobo stew, right? Um, hobo stew, this guy. Currently locked. But what does that take for red? Ah, oh, it does take potatoes as well. Yeah, everything takes potatoes! It's so annoying! Why does everything take potatoes? Uh, that's, uh, that's, that's the one annoying thing about that. But yeah, okay, we're going to have to go ahead and head out then and uh, continue with our looting. So we can put our claw hammer here and I guess our knife over here. First of all, just can go right here. I'm going to use one of these just to heal up a little bit because, yeah, our health right now is absolutely terrible. But yeah, we, we did do okay to try and survive. I guess I guess in the last episode, guys, our death uh, our death was to go ahead and make up for the fact that we survived Horde Knight on sheer dumb luck. So yeah, I think that's the uh, I think that was the idea there. But yeah, I was I was I, I think I think that was the problem. Also, I panicked and then I was just like I forgot that I had a bow. I could have used that to probably get rid of the Zeds. Now the other problem is um, is that I managed to get my bike jammed over here, uh, and that just won't move. Like it's kind of stuck in the ground. See. Uh, I don't think I can. I don't think I can move this thing out of here. And uh, can I reverse it? Uh, oh wait, I can reverse it. Okay. So it seems to be a bit of a weird bug where the bikes can just get. Yeah, let's see, they, they get jammed on these little bits, right? And then you get stuck, and then that's never any fun. So yeah, there's. Hopefully, they're gonna be able to uh, find a solution for that at some point. But yeah, there was a house that I wanted to go and loot. It was. Um, yeah, that, no, that was the. There was a church over there, but I think there was another house. It was like, a, I think it was like the mining one with the elevator. I don't know. Let's go and have a little look around. Now that we've got the bike, though, traveling is going to be a little bit faster, which is very nice. So there is a working space we could look in. Ah, there it is over there. See that one with the big tall tower? It's kind of like, almost like a bit of a castle. Yeah, there's that one. So yeah, the other way we die, guys, is a landmine on a wall. Are you freaking kidding me? A landmine was on a wall and it killed us. Um, so yeah, there, there was that as well. Unfortunately, like I said, so there's a couple of these houses with towers on them. And one of these is the one I want to go to, and I think it's this one. Because as far as I remember, this is a really good one to find schematics in and everything, so I think... Is this the one here? Um, yes, this is the one. Okay, yeah, this is the house I want to loot. Because this is an awesome house. I love this one. So we're going to go ahead and go in here. So yeah, we, we do have to uh, let our arm heal up a bit. But yeah, let's go and have a look inside and see. We can find, so yeah, this house is like full of good stuff. Um... 
And by full of good stuff, I mean there's a lot of good stuff in this house. Uh, so yeah, it's kind of split into a few separate parts uh, that we're going to have to navigate through. But that is just fine. So that door is locked, so I guess we'll let whoever break through there break through there. So let's go ahead and just open up all these doors and see what's going on here. Okay, here we go. Let's go this guy right here. So he's out. Yeah, I can't use power attacks, otherwise I'm going to delay my healing, so we don't want to do that. There you go, get you down as well. Okay, he's out. And yeah, now i got to take into account that I'm swinging slower when using my sledgehammer, so that is also a thing. Okay, let's open this up, and then kill you. And he's out as well, very good. There's somebody else coming through this way as well. I think through this section here? Yep, okay. Let's go ahead and open this up for you. There you have, there you have it, there's a zombie in the house, because... I'm sure he needs a bit of extra assistance. There you go. There you go. Oh, we got him through here as well. Look at that. Nice. Got it. Nice. And down he goes. Okay, so that guy needed a little bit of extra assistance because he was, like, coming in here. I wanted to see what I was up to. But, yeah, we're going to go ahead and uh, start looting this place because this is a very nice one to loot. And I definitely like it a lot. So, medical pile. Let's have a look in there. 28 gunpowder. So, that's, like, a blunderbuss army pretty much, which is nice. Anything in here? Nope. Toilet, murky water, nice. Anything in here? We have a steroid. Definitely take the steroid. That's a good thing. Good thing to have right now. Well, we don't have any like pocket mods and everything. Steroids are definitely a very nice thing. Um, right, so there's cobblestone over here, so let's go and grab this guy. So yeah, digging a little bit slower, unfortunately, but there you go. That's just uh, the nature of the beast when you got a broken arm. But yeah, in 26 minutes, this thing will hopefully be healed. Maybe. I guess we'll have to check. I uh, just have to check and try and take it a little bit easy. So let's leave that. Some water there. Excellent. Uh, electrical parts, I guess. Yeah, why not? We've got re we got room right now. Some cans. Then this one, we got more cans. And then a food pot right here. What have we got in here? This gives me a bit of canned food there, which I'll probably just eat because we are getting hungry. Scrap the wrench. And yeah, let's go and scrap the cans, eat that. And then drink both these waters here. So both these waters will give me... Some empty jars, let me save a little bit of room there. Excellent, so that, we, that will help me with the hunger and thirst side of things as well. I think that was the other problem as well, I was hungry and thirsty when I was fighting the uh, fighting those guys as well, so of course it gimps your stamina recovery, which totally sucks, but there you go. It's a normal thing. But yeah, last episode was uh, not for my best performance ever, but it was actually a really fun one, just like running from the running from the zombies. That was actually pretty cool. Okay, so come in here. Medium arrow pile. Very nice little collection. Let's come over here, right? So let's try and lockpick the safe because I do have a little lockpicks on me. So we may as well give it a little bit of a whirl and see if we can get inside it. If we can, that's gonna be awesome. So let's have a look. You never know. We might get lucky. I don't. I don't know how many lockpicks I have. But hopefully, it's gonna be enough to get inside here. So let's see. Yeah, it's gonna reset to like. Yeah, I hate that it resets like that many seconds and then it kind of gimps you that way. But yeah. Ah, oh, really? Yeah, we're not going to do it, are we? Nope, I think we are. Yeah, man, I suck at lockpicking. Yep. Damn it! Okay, uh, can I just break in like this? That's got a lot of health on it. Is that going to delay my healing, though? Is that actually hurting me to do it? No, but it might end up turning my uh, healing, making my healing time go up a bit. So you're going to have to be a little bit careful, but we'll try it here. I just want to monitor the time and see if it's actually doing anything. So if I power attack, I know for a fact that it will. But yeah, I guess I can break into these saves pretty quickly now. Thanks to minus 69, we're actually getting in quite fast. So that's actually not bad. Okay. Let's go ahead and break in here, and done. Okay, what's in here? So in the safe, what do we have here? We have a tier 4 blunderbuss, a tier 4 wooden club, some silver, and some blunderbuss. Oh. Worth it? Not really. But that's okay. We're, we're, we're good. We, we've... At least gone in there, because I'm sure you guys would have, been, would have been wanting to see what was in there anyway, so at least we've gone in there and had a look. So yeah, not really worth it, but there you go. Sometimes these things just happen. So now we're going to go this way, and down here those covers are open. We're going to find something in here, though. Right, anyone here? Yep. Oh, I shouldn't have done that. Should not have done that. Okay. Okay, open this one. And kill you. Very good, and there's some clothes in here, and a couple of boxes. Okay, so what's in here? In the clothes things, we have three cloth, and I guess, um, take this and mod it. So, modify that one, take out the die. 
There you go. And something's smashing. Okay, interesting. And then scrap that and then scrap that for paint there you go so yeah you guys were saying that i can i should be scrapping dye for paint uh when i need it later and while i won't really be using much i guess it couldn't hurt right so we'll go ahead and start scrapping it it's gonna slow my loading down a little bit but we can go ahead and do that because you know i like taking suggestions from you guys as to uh what way to play as well because it's always nice to kind of have your input as well so i do enjoy that okay so let's have a look and see what we've got in here anything in here oh here we go a bag anything in the bag we have this and that, so we can go and scrap those. So, cannon and torch, don't need either of those things. Uh, nothing much around this area. Well, there's leather, I guess, so I guess, I guess we'll take these. Leather's always nice to have. Okay, so, three leather and some cloth, very good. And now we come through here. Okay, see, so this this POI I really like. It's, it's a very cool POI. I, I, I like it a lot. Um, so, anything in here? There's any of the. Oh, there's a, a kind of a hidden thing right here. So, there's a medical pile. With seven jars, that's good, isn't it? Seven jars. That's like that's like perfect amount of loot. Like you, you can't, you cannot get better than that, guys. All right, so there's going to be some here, isn't there? Or you tell you, there's going to be someone here. Yep, as I thought. So why did you not wake up? Okay, there you go. Got him. Okay, so someone else is in here, I bet. Nope, no one there. Okay, anything in here? Any items? Nope, nothing in the closets. Nothing in them. I can't loot any of those either, okay. That's locked, so... Smash away through it. Anyone in here? No, it's just like a little uh, utility room. There's a medical pile here, look at that. Two splints, excellent. So if I need to apply some more for my arm, then I definitely can do that. So there's a bag up here as well, let's have a look in there as well. See what we got. A t-shirt. Eh... Uh, I think that's slightly better than what I'm kind of wearing. Uh, wear that one compared to the tank top. Tank top for some reason gives me more cold resist. Okay, hang on. Let me um, take this guy then and modify it, and then take out the die, and then scrap the die. There you go. Cool. And then yeah, I guess I'll wear, I guess I wear the shirt instead. It gives me slightly more heat resist, slightly less cold resist. But that, that's really weird. I thought we would actually resist the cold pretty good in a uh, regular thing rather than the tank top. But there you go. I guess I guess I, I guess I just don't know what I'm talking about, do I? You guys are going to come up with all, uh, all kinds of a big sciencey explanation as to why. I can guarantee you. I, I bet you guys will. Um, okay, so let's go ahead and scrap this thing. Scrap this. Oh, what the hell? You scared the crap out of me. Really, a rabbit just like ran out of here? Wow. Okay, hang on. I get. I guarantee there's someone up there. I have one of these. No, not there. No. Someone is around here. Is there a crawler? Yeah, there's a crawler. There's a crawler over here. There's a, there's a random crawler trying to get me. Okay, hang on a minute. Okay, I see him. Where are you crawler? You went down there, didn't you? Okay, why'd you go down here? Come on. Got him. There's an, a not working out here, but some repair kits on it, which is nice. Okay, that's, that's cool. So yeah, there's a couple of uh, colored Zeds down here. Cannot wait for my arm to recover, though. That's going to be very, very nice to have pretty soon. Let's go and grab these. Nothing there. Anything in here? Uh, oh, short iron pipe. I can repair my blunderbuster. And two more lockpicks. Look at that. Okay, repair the blunderbuss, because we ne definitely need to do that. Um, there's also... Huh? Okay, I guess it's like a secret way you can come, if you want to. Um, is there anything... On the shelves here. No, I don't think so. Nothing there. There's a couple of wheels there, but other than that, nothing really that good. So there we go. Right, let's have a look in here. So lead. Not much there. Okay, that's all good. Okay, I think that's everything then in this little area. All done. Oh, wait a minute. Yep, that's all taken out. So yeah, make sure there's no more pictures kind of left over on the walls. I never did leave this area, did I? I did. Okay. I was, I was kind of thinking I, I forgot to leave it, but I guess no, I did. Okay, that's cool. Right, so everything is new here. Let's go ahead and make our way over... Not there, we've got to go up the stairs now, I think, and that leads me to the next part. Yep, so let's go upstairs. Let's start making our way around up here. So some trash. What's in the trash? Two feathers and... Oh, a hop seed. Nice, I'll take that. Good find. Okay, oh, we've got... Uh, we have company... Wait a minute! I shot these cupboards and there was no one there. 
The game totally gimped me. I shot I shot up here, didn't I? Yeah, these two cupboards, I shot them, see? And there were no zombies up here, and then one just came out of the cupboard. That is that's cheap. No 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 no, that's not cool. I should have got the kill on whatever zombie was up here. But oh well, there you go. Well never mind. Alright, so let's see what we got here. We have some uh, worn boots which has some of the other diamonds. So again, modify, take this off, and then go ahead and scrap both of those. Very good. There you go, get some get some paint on the go. The stupid rabbit, are you serious? Just, I, I don't know. I, I I don't know about this rabbit, guys. I really don't. Um, something's so something's not quite right with that rabbit. Okay. Right. Let's see. An office chair there. I don't need it. I'll just scrap it further. I guess. I I know I can like take it apart for more resources, but yeah, I can't be asked to place it down on the ground and take it again. So it should be fine. Uh, so nightstand. Never says the junk here though. What's in there? One piece of plastic. I, I don't think so. I think we're good. Right. So come back this way. And nothing over here. Nothing funny in the walls. Nope. Okay. We're good. Right. But well, we're in the master bedroom now. Look at this. So where's this going to take us? So we've got a couple of cabinets here. There's a cabinet behind here. Oh, some canned food in here. Why are you keeping your food in the bedroom? Makes no sense. So, yeah, but I'll take it because I'm hungry. <laughs> you know what? I'll take it. I won't complain. I'm hungry. I'm hungry. Just gonna eat that one and then eat that one. Okay. So first hashtag, guys. Hashtag stupid rabbit. There you go. So if you want to uh, get your hash, you've got to get your hashtags into the comment section, guys. That's the first one I want to see. Hashtag stupid rabbit. Okay. And here, I wonder if there's gonna be any vultures over here. Maybe. Wouldn't surprise me if there's a bird or two around here. No one here. Okay. I think I hear. Well, I hear a crawler, I guess, but. Wow, these these guys are rich. They got loads of barbecues. They got they got two grills here. Look at this. They got like an up top up, up, up top bar and everything. Man, I might have placed that. This would be pretty good, wouldn't it? I'd take it. Okay, what's in here? Oh, tier five chest armor. And there is a dude up here. Come on, I challenge you to a duel. Now, I shouldn't have power attacked you because that kind of hurt me. But do you accept or are you a coward? And he's like, I accept, but you're gonna kill me straight away. I was like, and that's the thing. I know. <laughs> Sucks to be you, doesn't it, Mr. Zombie? Hmm? Yes. Yes, indeed. Okay, come down here, and then let's go this way. Alright, so come along here. And let's go in here. Okay. Okay, so this is then we round to a completely different stairwell. Okay. Well, so was I before. I was down there. Oh, there's a bag over there as well. How do I get there? That's where I can get to that. There must be some way, but right now, I'm not sure. So, for now, let's go and get the lockpick. Oh, and some brass. Look at that. Okay, anything up here? Nope. Okay, so what's up here? Okay, now going further up, I guess. Anyone back here? Or anything back here, I should say? Doesn't surprise me. Yep, there's a purse back here. Sneaky purse? What's in there? Nothing in the sneaky purse. Okay. So let's go up in here. Right, so nothing up there. So let's go up to the top. Alright. And this is the good bit. This is where the library is. And there's some bookshelves around here. That's pretty good. Okay, so there's... Oh, you're a feral, though. That's bad. Okay. Okay. Oh, I beheaded the feral. Nice. So there are ferals in, in this one. So this this, this this is the one thing. There are ferals in here. We've got to watch out for those. Okay. So usually... I think I think they will spawn up here. Get up here and see. Get okay, anyone here? Yep. There's you. There's one Hawaiian dude here. Got him! Nice, yeah, I have to have to suffer a bit of uh, bit of damage here. Anyone in here? Let's see. So yeah, finding the feral ones are actually is actually pretty cool. Okay, there's nothing back here then, but this is halfway through the building, guys. So this this is pretty much the halfway point right here. Oh, and there's our first gun, guys, an AK. Look at that. Wow. Okay, wear this, that's better than that. Okay, so let's go and modify this. Take these off. Wow, okay, an AK, guys, is our first weapon here. So let's wear this, and wait a minute, wear that. Modified. Wait, no, don't scrap it, don't scrap it, that's a, that's a good piece of armor. Um, okay, don't repair it. Okay, so we want to modify it. Doesn't have a hotkey, there we go, put those on. Then there we go. So yeah, first gun, guys, is an AK. Awesome. That's, um, that's coming with me. That's coming with me. My AK. I need it now. This will kill all the zombies! Although it's throwing a damage to me right now because my arm is still uh, broken, so there's the thing. But at least you got at least you got a weapon now, that's a good thing. 
So your first weapon is the AK. That is awesome. I'm very happy with that. So, if you guys got that in the last episode, then yes. Uh, congratulations to whoever the first one got. If you got one, as at this point, I don't know because I'm, you know, recording and not reading comments. So, yeah. I, I couldn't tell you who got it right now, but hopefully one of you guys did. Hopefully one of you guys got AK as the first weapon of choice. What is going on over here? There's, there's like, some crawl around here just, like, destroying everything for, for no real reason. Is there stuff behind these bookshelves? Hang on a minute. I'll leave this real quick. Um, oh, look at this, a double mod, and we also got the Magnum Enforce Volume 4, Intonation. Tired of getting uh, uh, robbed by punk traders? Well, I am, but there's no traders in this world, so that book, for right now, is actually quite useless. But look, there's a hidden bag back here, look at that, uh, which has a level 4 padded hood, which I don't need, so we can scrap that. Okay, here we go, there's another one here. And oh, here we go, Needle and Thread Volume 6, Puffer Coats. Nice, so now we can craft Puffer Coats if we are that way inclined. Which is rather nice. What's in here? We have... Oh, look, there we go. A pistol schematic and a stun button schematic. Nice. Very nice. We can craft those now. In here we have a shotgun turret schematic. Okay, we're finding some good stuff here. Shotgun turret one. We got... Ah, here we go. Waste entry is one, two. We know it. Uh, dart turret schematic. I'll take that. That's a good one. What's in here? Oh, here we go. A... Ma oh, a machete schematic. Nice. Take that one. And we also got a shotgun messiah volume two. Breaching ammunition. Craft special ammunition used to breach... Uh, Richard blocks like uh, safes. I think this crawler managed to make its way in here, didn't it? Did it? No, I think he fell off. Okay, so yeah, that's cool. Now we can go ahead and make breaching ammo. What's this one? Night Stalker Volume 1. Stealth. Uh, do 10% more sneak damage at night. I will definitely take that one. That's a good one. Uh, not that it's going to really help us yet. Uh, criminal Pursuit. The adrenaline from chasing scumbags down in the heat of combat boosts your stamina. Sprinting with a full full gun drawn in combat uses 20% of that stamina. I like that. So yeah, that's the thing. The pistols is what I kind of want to focus on as well as my main gun. I've got the AK for now, so I guess I'll use it, but the pistols are what I, what I do want to focus on eventually. Oh, there you are, finally. Okay, first uh, first zombie kill with the AK. Oh. It would help if I load it, correct? Yes. Just, just a little. Yeah. Got him. Oh, that was a perfect headshot as well. Look at that. Yeah, this AK is going to be awesome, guys. I'm liking this. Okay, I, I'm liking this a lot. Okay, shouldn't have done that, but there you go. Oh, some arrow here. Look at that. I uh, got a tier 5 blunderbuss. Okay, scrap that. Scrap that. Take all the rest. Very good. Scrap it. Scrap it. Take the rest. Scrap it. Scrap it. Take the rest. Right, is there anything up here? Let's go ahead and have a little look. So there might be some books up here. Yeah, here's one. In this book we have, oh, a double barrel shotgun schematic, nice, that's cool. Totally take that one, and then we've got a flashlight, which I can just scrap. There's actually a, a room over here too, nice. Okay, so we've got nothing there, but there is a couple of bookshelves here, which has a batter up volume 7, metal chain mods. Don't have enough knockdown power? Learn to grab a metal chain uh, modification and increase your stick in the wheelchair business. Nice. Or increase your stick in the wheelchair business, nice. That's awesome, and then what we've got in here. This one we have... Oh, look, two new books. we got The Hunter's Journal Volume 6 for Vultures. Nice. And uh, All About Weapons Habit Volume 7. Machine Guns. They call her Old Painless for a reason. Be the badass of the battlefield. Craft the M60 machine gun. Yes. That is awesome. Excellent day. An M60 machine gun. I'll take that. I'll definitely take that. Okay, anything in here? So this one we have, oh there we go, some, some food here we can use, and some sham sandwiches as well. Very nice, so nothing else much over here. Okay, I think that's everything up in this little area. Okay, so yeah, anything else up here? That we can, that we can find? Um, hmm, I don't think so. I think that's everything up here we can do for now. So if we go down here, right, this now leads to the second half of the building, doesn't it? Yeah, so now it's where we got to go down. But how do we get down? Just guess follow the pipes. If anyone were to uh, follow the pipes, that would lead them right. Now, for uh, the pin coin, guys, can anyone tell me what I'm referencing? What movie am I referencing with a slightly altered comment? If anyone were to... Uh, I don't know, follow the, uh, <laughs> follow the pipes. That'll lead him right. Okay, it's kind of here. Okay, oh, we're already waking somebody up. Okay, so we can come down here. You're out. Okay, what do we got here? So who do we have down here, huh? So we got some scientists. 
Oh, you're out as well. Very good. Okay. That was it. Okay. That one and this one. Alright, totally you're not gonna bring my arm again. There you go. Gotcha. Okay, so four science ladies. And oh wow. We're at a huge mine. This is why I like this POI, because it's got this hidden little extra bit. I love this. I love this hidden extra that you get here. See, most people would never suspect there's anything under this. And I remember the first time I found this place, I was blown away. So let's go and see what we can find here. Okay, so I'm going to come down here. Um, so yeah, I guess you go through here. It's been a while since I've been through here. Okay. So I stay here. So there's that one. Lots of electronic stuff here. That's cool. She's out. Go this way. And then we got our business dude. And he can go down too. Boom. Okay, anyone, anything in here? More steel armor parts. Nice, I'll take that. So I'm slightly over encumbered, so we're going to be uh, playing it a bit risky here. Do not need this bow anymore? I don't really, but I guess I'll keep it just in case we need it. The stealth, I guess, could be handy. So now we're going to fall down here. Can I kind of just walk up the top there? I guess we got, kind of got a choice here. Yeah, if we fall down there, it doesn't really matter. So you come down here. Is there anything down here, or is it just an area to fall in? Uh, oh no, there's an ammo pile here. Look at that. So the ammo pile has okay, quite a good uh, small tank mod. I don't really need that, but I guess I'll take this. That's good. Okay, now go over here. And jump back up here. Okay, there we go. And now we're going to come back out this way. Oh, there's a, a hazmat dude. Hello, Mr. Hazmat dude. How are you guys doing? I've not seen many of you in a while. Okay, come on, you. There you go, we got him. Okay, he's down. Come out this way, back up inside. There you go, got him, and this one. Okay, so yeah, that is a bit tough. But we got him. There you go, those guys are down. Now you gotta come down here a bit. And there's a dude. Over this way. Dude, what are you doing? Hang on. There you go. Now maybe you'll come up here. No? Well, then you're too stupid. You need to die. Oh, right in the back. That sounded, that sounded painful. Okay. Anything else down here? Let's go over this way real quick, see if there's anything back this way. There is. Look, there's a bag. Anything around the corner? Nope, just a bag here. All right, so what's in the bag? Anything good? We have, okay, some flashlights and cans, nothing good. Flashlights and cans, ding, ding, flashlights and cans, ding, ding, flashlights and cans, flashlights and cans, flashlights and cans, ding, ding. Yeah, there we go. And here we go, now we're down the, the bottom. Okay, so now you want to be sneaky. Because this is where I think there's going to be a ton of ferals. So maybe what I want to do is get my bow... And my AK. I don't think I'm going to need my blunderbuss. I'm going to need my bow and my AK. Now let's repair the AK real quick. Just to make sure that's looking good. Okay. So I'm going to come through here. Yeah, I see. I already see a dude up there. That... Just right at the top. See if I can get this guy with some sneak damage. I think I woke everyone up, didn't I? There you go. Got that one. Yeah. Oh, and that guy just fell down. That was awesome. Okay. Right, any ferals here? Uh, so far, just looks like a couple of normal ones. Okay. So you're down. You're down. Okay, just be careful, just in case any ferals decide they want to show up here. Okay. Okay, totally missed you, but my arm is a few minutes over from being recovered. Nice. Okay, we are getting hungry, though, so you gotta be careful there. So he's down, and then this guy. Okay, knock him out. There you go. Come on. Nice. Okay, good batch of XP right there. Go okay, hearing more. Oh, there's some. There's some in here. Okay, there's a. Okay, there's a big lady right here. Okay, you're looking very intimidating with that eye. Okay. Oh, there's some uh, dress clipping issues. It would seem. Oh, there's there's more in here. Look at this. There's Edgar's and everything. All right, Edgar's out. Very nice. Okay, here we go. So yeah, we are taking some damage by doing this, but it's whatever, we'll just go ahead and do it. Nice, there we go. 
Got him. Is that it? Nah, no, I think there's one in here. There's probably one in here too. Hello, anyone? No, no one? Okay, I think that's it then. Alright, so let's go and loot some here. Uh, okay, there's a metal chain one right there, but uh, can we some clubs? Nothing really we can do about that. Let's have a look in here. We have vitamins in there. Nice, I'll take those. And we're going here. Anything good? We have more vitamins and a bandage. Nice. Take all the things. Okay, so yeah, no fails down here. Like yeah, the first time I went through this, it was back in Alpha 17 Experimental. Was the first time I saw this building. The, this bottom area was literally, it was ferals. Like everything was ferals down here. There's cops and everything too. There's a horrible, horrible, horrible thing to try and get through. All right, there you go, got him. All right, let's have a little look down here then and see if there's anything good to loot while we are killing the rest of the Zeds. There's a biker here. Got him. Okay, knock him out. Oh, that was good. We're gonna get some more shots on him, then we should be good. Got him. Biker's out of here. Looking awesome, right? Anything in here? Nope, nothing there. See, there might be a little bit of loot in this area. If we are lucky. If not, then well, there you go. See, this is where, the, this is where that dude was standing that I shot off the that I shot off the thing. That was so funny though, how he just like fell down. That was, that was really awesome. I was like, haha, and he was like, ha ha, and then he fell down. He's like, ah, <laughs> and then down he goes. Okay, so here we go to this room here. Alright, and this is gonna be where the loot is, I'm guessing. Yeah, here we go. Nice, let's see what we got in here. So lots of area on that one. Shall we box? So this is the looting room. What have we got in here? Four shadow sandwiches? Alright. There's a oh a big chest right there. That's gonna take a long time to break through. We never know, might be able to get through it on its own. Uh oh, golden rod, and we got some oil shale. Mm. Don't really need the golden rod or the oil shale, but you know what? Solid, we'll just take it anyway for now. Um, and there's a big weapons bag right here. So we got in here. Uh, oh, a blueberry pie. I will eat that because I'm hungry. And then this one, what do we get? This one gives me a blunderbuss. A oh, we a robotic sledge. Nice, I'll take that. And we got another uh, crepe mod, which I guess I should probably install onto this thing to do damage to legs. Nice. There we go. So we even got a robotic sledge from here. That's awesome. I think so to see one of those, and at least not for a while. Anything in here? We have shan sandwiches, rotten flesh, and meat. Okay, that's not bad. I'm still hungry, but there you go, that's good. Actually, no, now I'll tell you what, we can eat this, and we can pop a few of these. And that will cure my hunger a little bit. It'll do some damage to me, but it'll cure my hunger. And there you go, all my status elements have now been pretty much sorted out. Okay, let's just get a load of these done. Perfect, there you go. Now all my citizens have been sorted out. That's awesome. So that does now in 9740. So that's 130 damage. Let's see what the pickaxe does. Yeah, pickaxe is a lot better at breaking through this. <laughs> well, can I lockpick it? Let's let's try and lockpick it and just see if we get any luck. We might do, we might not. If we do, that'll save me a lot of time. But I'm not sure about this one. These ones are like are meant to be extremely hard to lockpick. And I mean, if I can get a little safe, I don't know. We'll see. We're getting close, but can we do it? Yes, we actually did it on the first try. Okay, there you go. Perfect. We're going here. Oh, wow. Ah, here we go. Uh, an armor triple Pokemon. I'll definitely be taking that. Um, we also have another, a tier 6 helmet. Very good. So that's more storage for me. Got those. We'll, we'll take this, take this, take this. I don't need this. Uh, which I can't, I can't scrap. I can scrap that one. I don't need muffle connectors. Uh, oh wait, actually no, maybe I do. Maybe I do need muffle connectors. That'll help me at night. Um, okay, I don't need this, and then scrap both of these, and then this can be dropped, and then take this. Perfect. Okay, so let's go ahead and wear this guy to then modify this guy and take out this stuff to then complete this, and then we can go ahead and put this stuff in the other one. So wear that guy. And then modify this one. Wait, don't drop it. That's that's good armor. Don't drop it. No, oh, that one. There you go. So now modify this one. So modify that, and then in here we can put on this, 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 and this. Perfect. There we go. So we got now a triple storage and some more connectors as well, which is very cool. So yeah, now we now we have um, less noise, which is pretty good. So that works. That's pretty nice, and yeah, drop the bandolier, I don't need that thing. You know what, I don't need the stones, and I really don't need the paper at this point either, so go to those. Alright, there we go, so that was a very good find from that chest, and I think that's pretty much everything in this area. So now we can go ahead and pretty much make our way out of here. 
and this is going to lead me up and out into this little thing underneath the uh, I think I think right here like underneath the porch so we go ahead and chop this out we should be right underneath the beginning of the house right am I right underneath it I believe so yeah and there you go and then we're just gonna try and get out yeah I think that's a I think that's a two block high jump which is actually quite hard to make so I guess break away out here and do that. Yeah, that's easier. Cool, and we come out of here, and there we go! That's every, that's pretty much everything done. Now, there's one area that I didn't go to, and I think that's because it just didn't lead me around there, or I didn't go through the barbed wire that I was meant to, and we got to go actually up here again. And we need to go back this way, because there was a couple of other bits around here that I didn't look through. So there's a room right here. There's a fireplace in it, and yeah, there's a, there's a, yeah, there's a backpack behind that, look at that. So in here we have some cans. Let's definitely take those, nothing in the fireplace. Nope, nothing in the fireplace, so then we'll go this way. I think this is where... Oh wait, no, this is where we went to before, so yeah, that's the stairwell. Oh, I guess we did do everything then. So I thought coming in here was the, um... No, we didn't come in here, wait a minute. Oh wait no, this door got broken open. I get it. Okay, yeah. So we we had a we had a breaking on the door. But I think there's also something else over here as well. By looks of things, I think there's something up there. If I remember rightly, there's a um there's a bag over there. But I don't know how you meant to get that. Yeah, so there's there's definitely a bag here. And oh look, the bookshelf I never looked in. That gives me nice talk of volume five. Archery. No one will see it coming. Boost your damage up with damage at night. Nice. I like that. So yeah, night night archery is always fun. Sure. Uh, but yeah, I think there's another room here somewhere as well that is meant to... Maybe behind these bookshelves? Hang on. No, I know, I know for a fact there's another room. Ah, here we go, look. Right here. A hidden... little hidden area. Just above here. I think you need to drop in on here to get to some better loot here. Main car here. Okay, that doesn't need anywhere. So I'm, gu I'm guessing zombies are going to spawn up here or something? Unless they change that. Oh, you know what? Maybe they changed that. Because I remember there was one room in this place that had a... um, It had like a... What do you call it? Like It was like some bookshelves all on each side. Maybe they changed that. Yeah, maybe that's the room they changed then. So I remember it was like a very tall room that you'd have to come back in later and get like a secret stash. But I think they may have... Yeah, I think they changed that. Hmm, maybe. Well, let me go... Through that way. That's the barbecue that way. So yeah, I think yeah, I think that was that was it. Yeah, they, they did change it. Okay. So yeah, just to change room, so a little different than that wood was trying to kill me. How dare you? You will not be forgiven, Wood. I shall destroy you when I find where you've gone. <laughs> or I'll destroy you if you weren't already destroyed. Alright, so I guess we'll do one more house. And now we got the AK, this should be a whole lot easier. So we can just shoot things. That's very nice. Oh wow. That guy was that guy was king, wasn't he? Okay, hello. Yeah, oh. Put help if I loaded the thing, wouldn't it? Yes. Hey, okay, that's pretty good. So yeah, I can knock him down here. Okay, can I get up here? So there's a little bit up here, look. That's pretty cool. So come over here. And up here. And up the top here, I think we might find something nice, maybe. There is a hidden stash, what's in here? Hidden stash we have. Uh, knuckle, knuckle weapons, other than that, nothing good, just my ammo. Well, ammo is good, of course, but you know what I mean, nothing else uh, more interesting than that. Okay, so come through here. Let's have a look behind all these items, so nothing much there. Okay, oh, let's say here we go. Go and kill this guy. Oh, right in the bollocks, look at that. So, uh, let's see, what have we got here? One. Can I crawl out of the way? Okay, oh, I totally missed you though. Oh, but that one might be headed. Very nice. Haha! That's what you get, crawler. Come my way, you get beheaded, and that is that. So you've got skills, which is for agility. Let's just get rid of those. Uh, anything else? New? No. Anyone else over here? Nope. Nobody? Nobody? No. Mm, no. Okay. Well, fine. Be like that then. I will just go ahead and loot your house. If no one else wants to stop me, then I shall loot it all. Everything must go. Alright, so there's iron. Okay, iron. I'll take that. Definitely could always use more iron. 
You can never have enough iron, guys. Okay, and that's the uh, that's the hashtag for this episode. Hashtag the second one, of course. Hashtag you can never have enough iron. There you go. So leave that one in the comments for me as well, guys. It will be very much appreciated. But at least we're doing slightly better this time, and not just dying to everything. So you know that's that's a little better, wouldn't you agree? Yes, yes, good. Yes, I I, I much rather I much agree with myself too. <laughs> and you, you guys, I did. I mean, of course, you're going to agree with yourself. And I was like, well, no, I, I hardly ever agree with myself at all. This is just one of those very rare occasions. Okay, grab that one. Scrap that. Scrap that. Okay, nothing there. All right, there is. Oh, hello. Uh, we have a jacket. Oh, I was thinking it was going to be a college jacket. Uh, actually, I should probably wear that because it's giving me cold resist. Oh wait, I'm already wearing one. Okay. Then finds, scrap it. Because yeah, the college jacket is a really good find because that one gives you, um, it lets you run faster, which is really good for if you're wearing heavy armor. Because like, yeah, you, you run a ton faster by doing that. Okay. Anything else down here? I don't think so. Well, I think there's some other things over here that I didn't quite go for. I was just kind of like meandering around. Yeah, here we go. So I'm sure, you, I'm sure if I miss any any single piece of loot, you guys won't let me live it down. So let's go ahead and just do it. All right, wasn't there? Nothing there. Just some trash. Not really anything good. Oh, puffer coat. Look at that. Actually, that's slightly better than what I'm wearing. So wear that one. There you go. And I guess I'll take this guy and then modify it. Take off this thing. Now I'm wearing a puffer coat. Look at that. I bet my character looks like terrible though. Let me see. Yeah, I'm not a fan of how the puffer coat looks. Actually, it doesn't look too bad now. But there you go. So I guess we'll do that, and then scrap that, and then scrap that, and then get more paint. Look at that. Haha, because paint is paintable. And that's good, right? I think? Yeah, maybe? Okay. So let's go up here. And we're going to make our way to the top of the stairwell. Just like so. Excellent. Right, we're probably going to get ambushed by zombies here. Oh, there's a thing in the ceiling there, too. So look up, and you shall find awesome things. Wow. Okay, so yeah, there's something up in the ceiling. Let's get some ladders then to... You can probably make a couple of ladders here. How many can make? 20... Okay, 20-something. Let's just... Let's just go and do like... Two. Yeah, there you go. Cool. Two ladders. So then we can go ahead and grab this guy and go one... And two. Then come up here. And what is up in here? So we have... Oh, there's like a um, weapons bag, I think. Okay, let's go over here. Yes, a weapons bag. Alright, so what are we going to get this time? Are we going to get another AK or are we going to get something better? Let's see, we got this time... Oh, a double packet mod, that's cool. A trigger for full auto, I don't care about that, and I don't care about those. So I guess I can install a double pocket into something, for now. Uh, still, still have another level yet, just because of all those, all those deaths. That sucks. Um, so that's only tier 2, so I can't add anything to that. Modify, can I add a double storage into that one? Yeah, okay, you can actually mix double and triple, I think. Oh, wait, no, I can't, it's because it's already got a triple. I was going to say, I think you can maybe mix double and triple, but I guess not, so modify. Now the double into that. There you go. And now I can carry a little bit more whilst being slightly less encumbered as well, which is very good. So yeah, nice little weapons bag right there. we got something in here, what's in here? We have... Hello, so this would actually be quite a useful, very useful find. Um, actually, I should probably wear this one now and scrap that because I don't need it anymore. Hey, you know what? Yeah, we'll share them gone. I'll just, I'll just get rid of it. I don't need that. I don't really need it. And these two feathers as well. Let's just, let's go ahead and drop them. Because they are things that I'm not really in too much need of, so that is fine. Okay, let's go in here. All right. So in here, what do we have? We have. Oh, hello. We have villains, nice and green alcohol. So we the green alcohol, that's going to be very useful. For first aid bandages eventually when we can make them. So nothing in there, anything in here? Nope, nothing there. Come here. What's in the bag? In the bag we have five bandages, and currently I'm packing eight, so let me just get two. And then scrap those. And actually, now I should be able to make one more first aid bandage, right? So first aid bandage, grab that. Very good. And then we can go out here. That's got nothing in it. Okay, and now we're in a room with... Some zombies. Oh! You fell on your face, didn't you? Oh! Look at that! No chance! He was like, haha, whoops! And then down he goes. That was awesome. I love it when the zombies do that. They kind of like just fluff out and fall over. It's great. So sometimes they actually can get a, like a running study, but other times they do that. That's awesome. Oh, we found a pumpkin seed. That's really rare. 
Cool, okay, I'll take, I'll take that, because then eventually we can make pumpkin cheesecake, that's going to be nice. Oh, hello, uh, Urban Combat Volume 4. Jumping, learning how to jump and land quietly is an Urban Combat Basic. Learn it and stay alive. When sneaking, you always land silently, unless you're taking damage and jump height is not reduced. Nice, okay, so that's cool. So yeah, now when I'm sneaking, I can actually jump full height. That's a really good book to find, actually. No, no joke, that's a really nice one. Okay, so now where do we go? Do we go this way and then in here? I guess so. Okay, hello. There we go. Cool! Those guys are out. Oh, look, there's a bag right here too. So what's in the bag? In the bag we have... A can of pears. I guess I'll take that. I don't want the stone spear. Why'd there be a stone spear in the bag? I don't know, maybe, maybe someone was into like spear throwing and stuff like that. I, I have no idea. I don't question the Mad Mold logic anymore. I just, I just accept that it is what it is and... Whatever you may think about it, it will stay your remaining sense in the world of Mad Mole. Forever. Okay. Here you go. Okay, come on. Then. Okay. There we go, this one, and done. Nice, got rid of those guys, is that it? Uh, we got some stuff over here. Okay, so let's go and have a look in here. So, here, nothing. Okay, so we got some bedrolls here, which is pretty cool. Under here we have... Oh, what's that? Uh, BDU Top, which is actually probably better. I'll wear that. Yeah, I'll, I'll wear that one. It's, it's not as much heat resist, but it's slightly better overall, so I'll definitely take that one. Uh, duct tape, that's nice. That's a good find. Hardly, hardly ever find duct tape anymore. Uh, cloth, and then we got some cowboy boots, so I'll just get rid of those. And then this one we have cloth and suit pants, which um, gives more cold resist, but... Other than that, they're not that great, so I'll just get rid of that. Okay, so nothing much there then. Uh, then we come through here, I guess. Okay, there's a locked door here. What's in there? And this way. Oh, hang on. There's a bathroom with some. Uh, there's a bathroom with some loot in the shower. Okay. Uh, not sure of those. I mean, I could use those for having antibiotics, but I think I found plenty. Okay, here we go. What's in here? In here we have a recog. Hmm. Don't know how worth that worthwhile that's going to be. Honestly, I mean, it might be okay. Yeah, I think we'll leave it. Oh, we're going we're to lose it anyway, so yeah, I think we'll leave it, that's fine. Uh, acid, coffee, can't take either of those because we're full now. Uh, lead, again, can't take it because we are full, but that's fine. Let's see what else we have here. Here we have steroids, nice. So that's two steroids I have now. Uh, another advanced milk let's scrap this. Uh, take these, take these, take these. Okay, hang on a second. Uh, let me... You know, I don't really need the gold and silver either, do I? So let's go ahead and just drop that. Because that's not doing me any good. Uh, so my inventory right here so I can see what's going on. Uh, empty jars, we do have, and I don't think I need them really. So yeah, let's get rid of the empty, empty jars. And then we'll take this guy. And then I need one more slot free, which I do have there. Because then what I can do is go ahead and do some modding on my other armor here. So modify this one, and I guess we'll get the... Uh, let's see which one do I want on I guess the uh, muffle connectors on this one as well should be good. So here we got customized fittings, armor shovel pockets, and better connectors. And then I can use then for the other piece, uh, I guess the boots maybe? Yeah, we'll, we'll have to use on that. So modify this and then we'll add the um, insulated liner, which I think gives us some cold resist, which is quite nice. Alright, so there we go, that's all done. Now this, what do we have in here? We have more gold, more silver. Uh, oh, a magazine extender mod. Perfect for my gun. So definitely going to take that. I can scrap that as well. No, I don't need that. Grab those, take these, take these. A level 6 bone shiv as well. That's pretty nice. Uh, but yeah, we need to go ahead and then add the magazine extender here. So this guy, modify. I guess we'll, add it. we'll, we'll swap that out for the magazine extender. So yeah, Kremlin can come out. Magazine extender can go in. There you go. Awesome. So that's everything done there, and are we looking good now? Yeah, I think we are. Okay, that's everything good. So now, let's go ahead and break these open. Hopefully we're going to get some nice things. And let's see, in here we are going to get uh, three some challenges, definitely take those. And in here we're going to get a red tea, which I'll drink for the effect of digestion. And that's going to be awesome. So that's pretty much everything in here. It's bedroom, so now it's just time to break out of here. Guess I could just go out the window, couldn't I? Might well, make it easier. Yeah, just escape out the window. Cut here. And boom! There you go. Got straight out the window there, and no worries. Look at that. Cool! So now we managed to escape out of here. 
now we're kind of in, like in the in the backyard area. Oh, there's a, a grill here. Anything on it? Grill me, maybe. We're lucky. Uh, there's a cooking grill and there's some bones, but other than that, no meat for Max. Well, that sucks. Why no meat for Max? That's not cool. Oh, well, never mind. We'll be fine. We don't need the meat. We don't need meat to survive. We shall live off yucca forever. Everyone's like, what? Okay, so nothing over here then. And actually, it's perfect one to break through because we can then go ahead and break in here. And this will probably lead me to a good area. Okay, I think in the, I think a watering hole is going in as well. So we did this thing. And go this way, and then let's see who is around. Because yeah, definitely some zombies know my presence here. Okay, so what is going on over here? Hello? Hello? Oh, hello. Okay, we got, we got, we got a, big, a big party here. Okay, let's go and just finish these guys up. There you go, nice. Get those guys out, there you go, those guys are out. Alright, there's definitely some, some back here. There you go, I'm getting the... Can you get behind me? Okay, wow, ready? I'm failing this hard with an AK. Okay, get you down. Oh, there's a guy up here too. Where you guys are coming from? Okay, well, I can't believe I'm failing so hard with an AK. Okay. Okay, got him. Alright, he's down. Oh, no, no, nice. Cool. Okay, got him. Nice, good shot there. Okay, let's deal with these two fast. These guys are coming in faster. There you go. Get out of here. There you go, she's down. This guy's coming now. Got him. There you go, she's down. And this guy's coming in. There you go. Got him. Is that it? Doesn't sound like it. Oh, yeah, there's another guy up here. Hello. What are you doing out there, dude? Okay, oh, we need to reload. Okay. There you go. These guys are uh, coming in fast. There you go, gotcha. Boom. There you go, is that all of them? Yup, that is everybody. Awesome. Okay, so now we need to go ahead and head back to camp now. So we can, like, pretty much put everything away. Because we did go... I think we did actually go quite far away from the camping area. We went really far south here in the, into this town. So yeah, this isn't quite the city by... I think this is just a random town. But yeah, that was, that was some really good looting, guys. We finally got ourselves our first gun. The AK, which means is we're going to be very happy indeed... With all of our zombie slaying needs now being fulfilled, because we can now at uh, night just use that gun, and that should helpfully, hopefully, help us out a ton when it comes to the night times. So yeah, I'm definitely glad we got that. That's gonna be my uh, my little uh, my little gun of choice when we're out night looting, because it's fast, it's reliable, reloads rather quickly. So yeah, it's all it's all good. Definitely a good choice. So let's go ahead and make our way down here. And then once we're back home, we can store everything away here. I do have some room in the bike that we could take more, but that's all good. Until we get a bigger vehicle, I'm not too worried about like how much space we have. So that's fine. It's fine. We'll make it work. We'll make it work somehow, right? But yeah, as you can see, we, we travel like a good distance. So now we can come back to here. Yeah, so 80, 80 something meters away. Trying not to get the bike core down here. Because that would be bad. There you go. And here's our little outpost right here. Huzzah! We have returned. And looks like no one else is around here. Excellent. So let's go ahead and come into here. And now we can go ahead and just do all the stuff that should stack. We can now kind of go together. Okay, so put all those together. There you go, so got some arrow in there, but now I need the 762, so I definitely keep those with me. So one round of 762s now. Don't think I need the bow anymore, so that can stay out of here. 
Gunpowder can go in here now as well. So regular cloth, duct tape, and then paint, plastics, go in there. Steel armor parts again can go with this one, and some motor parts as well. So we're definitely getting some good, uh, good, some uh, good there, the bear. Definitely getting some good parts here. Okay, I don't even know what I'm saying here. So seeds can sit in here. So that's a nice collection of seeds. Um, See, so yeah, the blunderbuss. I don't even know if I need any more technically. Hmm. Personally, I don't think we do, but it might be worth it to hang on to. I don't know. So weapon mods can also go in here. Seconds so in here, and then we got some other medical supplies for. There, there, and there. And then the junk sledge I'm not really going to use, so I'm going to put that guy in here. And that should do me pretty good. So there we go, lots of extra loot. Now organized into nice little air storage areas. And like, like I said, now I got the bike, we can kind of take stuff back to base with a lot more ease. And not have to worry about being encumbered and running out of status quick. So that's always very, very nice. Okay, so guys, I think at this point we're at a pretty good point to go ahead and end off the episode. So that's probably what I'm going to go ahead and do here. So yeah, we're going to go ahead and do that. Thank you guys so much for watching. I really hope you enjoyed this one. And I will see you guys in the next one where we're actually going to go ahead and we're, um, uh, loot this place right here. I think this is the um, I think this is the working stiffs. Um, and I think I want to loot this place next because there's might some good stuff in. So yeah, this is the one we're going to do next, guys. So I do go ahead and do it here. Thank you all so much for watching. And I will see you guys in the next one. So until then, bye!